The Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Vertison Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. Well, certainly um, right behind us uh, are the, the P regional variety trials, and that's the, uh, the trials that you use to get information in the seed guide, so to evaluate different uh, varieties and such. And it just so happens that under plot conditions, we tend to have very concentrated P leaf weevil activity. And that's been going on for a number of years. Last year, even the last couple of years, the, the activity level has been down, probably likely because of the flooding that we've had. But we've seen this year uh, tons of tons of feeding, and if we want to look at some some uh, some feeding damage, you can take you over to the plot right here. <clears throat> and uh, pea leaf weevil are are actually really kind of hard to find on your on your own. So if you're looking for the weevil, you have to be very patient. Uh, they tend to sense vibrations and movement. So if you just walk up and look down and expect to see them, you're likely not going to because they. What they do is they fall off the plant and they play dead and they, they blend very well in with the soil. So, um, but if you, if you are patient and if you stay still and you crouch right down and sort of just catch them out of your peripheral, you'll catch them uh, running around. So really the best uh, approach uh, is to look for the actual feeding damage. And they will feed quite actively on new growth. So in this case here you can see all of this notching out of the leaves is very heavy active feeding damage. Um, these trials, uh, we will look at the node stage, basically one, two, three, four, five nodes. We're getting close to the point where spraying uh, is no longer worth doing, but just so happens we sprayed this trial on Monday, and you'll notice that on the clam leaf here, and this is where we usually get guys to check, is the new growth. Uh, very little feeding on this clam leaf. Actually, I don't think there's any. So that's an indication that we actually did do a good job of killing the pea leaf weevil. Uh, yet on the next leaf down, you can still see heavy notching. So a very good indication of, of heavy, heavy pea leaf weevil feeding. So the newest growth leaf uh, we call the clam leaf, and that's this leaf right here. And usually what we'll get growers to do is uh, to evaluate whether there is feeding or not on this clam leaf because then you know for sure that you've got current and active feeding from the pea leaf weevil. If it's down on a leaf right here they may have started to feed and then taken off or you or you got good control. So in the past economic threshold was usually we would say if you had feeding on three out of ten of the clam leaves, then you were past economic threshold. Well, price of peas have actually gone up quite a bit since that threshold. So I think uh, you know anything from two to three uh, would be considering economic threshold. Of course, the other control method is to have treated your seed with uh, you know a cruiser seed treatment as such. Um, a lot of our work has found that that's probably the most effective way of controlling pea leaf weevil, although it is fairly costly uh, to treat pea seed with such a high seeding rate. So. Um, other questions that have come um, lately in, in the fact that pea leaf weevil has really been spreading across southern Alberta. Uh, three or four years ago it was really sort of a Lethbridge, Vulcan thing. Now we're getting um, lots of people that are spraying out in the Medicine Hat area and, and maybe don't quite have as much experience with the pea leaf weevil as we do. They will enter the field from mar field margins or an infected field from last year. So. Uh, and they're, they're not good flyers. So once they're in a field, they'll end up walking. So you'll have a, a very significant edge effect. So the outside edges, when you, if you're scouting on early peas, you'll see lots of peas. It's important to walk into the middle of the field and see what the feeding's like. Um, there are strategies in place that, you know, people ask, can I just spray the outside edges? Under certain circumstances, yeah, that's a viable option. So certainly, um, come into a field edge, they will over overwinter in, in the ditches and the grass and such. Uh, I'd probably walk a good 20 yards into the field. I'd sit down and I'd look, and I'd count 10 plants. And we talked about, okay, right away we've noticed that we've got feeding, significant feeding here, um, so we know there's weevils present. The next thing that I would do is probably count through 10, 10 plants here and see whether there's actually feeding on the clam leaf. So, Plant number one is clear. Plant number two is clear. Number three is clear. But then I get here to plant number four. There is notching on the clam leaf. So that, that means there's actually active feeding going on, regardless if you sprayed or not. 
do that for 10 plants and if you've got 3 out of 10 or 2 out of 10 you might want to consider spraying but that's only the first step what I would also do is walk another hundred yards into the field maybe 200 yards and do that same process look for feeding on the lower leaves but that count uh, 10 plants and see how many clam leaf feeding you'll notice that depending on where you are and the size of the field you may get to the middle and have no feeding at all so that's where you have a decision do you want to spray the entire field do you want to spray sort of some outside rounds or such but um, the other thing to keep in mind is um, once you're past basically the six node stage then we're a little bit late another thing to keep in mind that um, the real damage from peel leaf weevil isn't from this feeding this leaf feeding what the peel leaf weevil does is lays a whole bunch of eggs those eggs hatch as larva and they crawl down into the root zone and feed on the nitrogen fixing bacteria that's really where the yield loss is and that's why controlling them um, early is, 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 is most important because once they've had the opportunity to lay viable eggs it's too late they're already on the path um, even even this level of feeding on the leaf I, I don't expect that type of defoliage to really affect the plant yield in any way it's all about making sure that those larvae don't get down and steal the free nitrogen that we're getting